Goal. Yeah, hello, welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. And today, as you can see in the title, it's uh, Spring Equinox. And uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's why I cut this a sun wheel uh, that I will put on my fire and uh, to celebrate the Spring Equinox or the Forge Jævndøgn, as we call it here in Denmark. I burn this uh, like the Vikings did. So, yeah. And out here in, the, in my black forest, a new area here in, in the forest, it's a big forest, uh, not been here before, so uh, it's a little bit different, I like that. And so Cornelius is very excited to be out here, he loves being out in the woods uh, together with me. So, And I prepare uh, some food I would like to uh, make. And uh, yeah, you saw, I had my meat skull. And beside that, I have something new I would like to show you. Yeah. And perhaps you noticed my little new bag that I made. And uh, I'll talk about this a little bit later. And beside that, a small, two small projects I made. One's really awesome and the other one is... Just I'll tell you about that, it's about the details. So, yeah. But... Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll put the fire on and uh, burning my cross and then prepare my food.
Nej. He takes my firewood, a little bandit. I don't know why. It has to be mine. There's a lot of wood out here he can use. But yeah. Uh, it's chicken I have today. Yeah. And a little bit of salt on. Yeah. And then I'll turn it like this. Some salt on here too. Yeah. While the meat is uh, cooking, frying, I'd like to show you this. It's a replica of a Birka bag uh, and other stuff and other places they found these, um, especially these, that is the closure of the bag. It's, it's very ingenious. You can see an open here and uh, when I pull this, it locks, so it's really awesome. And uh, yeah, I made a little video, not much, 
a little uh, video about uh, how I made this, so I would like to show you that now. This is what you need for making such a bag. Some leather, some wood, uh, rope and a little string. First I make a template and then I transfer it to a piece of wood. I use uh, oak and uh, yeah, I need two of them. So um, you can see here and uh, then I made these two. Then I took the leather and uh, punch some holes in after I cut it out. First the sides and uh, then the back. And uh, this is how it looks when it's finished. You can see two sides and uh, one front and back that I'll uh, put these on on the top. Then I put some color on and uh, made it so it looked old school, a little bit worn out. Then I could uh, begin sewing it together. Uh, first the sides to the front and back. I uh, use a little sawhorse so I can make it easy. And uh, then I saw this on the top. You can see here, then it's finished. And uh, inside I made uh, a room for my phone and so on. Yeah, and then I'm almost finished. I just have to put the rope on through the two holes and uh, yeah, on the back I just had to make a knot. And uh, this is how it looks and it closes like this. Hope you like. Yeah, and as you can see in the video I made a little uh, two uh, little things that I can have my stuff in and this is actually for most of my modern gear, my my phone and my uh, lighter and so on. So uh, I won't show you the content of this but uh, I can also use it of course uh, in other places. Um, I chose to make it out of leather because it will last longer. I think normally these were made from uh, linen fabric. I've seen it in leather too but uh, yeah. I think it looks cool, and you can see here, I burned something in it. This is a Celtic knot, and this is a little uh, a dragon. And on the back here, also I burned something in it. So yeah, uh, a little cool thing, I think, uh, instead of the old bag that I made of linen. Yeah, and I finally got my bigger snapping stone, Viking Whetstone, from Nordic Trader in, uh, on Etsy. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, it's not. It's a little bit thicker than the old one. That that's okay because it has a good grip. And uh, then I made a little sheet for it. This one, you can see here, and it fits nicely down in that. So. I'll have this on my belt, yeah, and you can see it's conical so it fits right down there. Uh, made this out of leather too, stitch it here and put this on just uh, for making it look nice and uh, regarding nicely, <laughs> yeah, here it is. I made this uh, little pouch some years ago uh, for different things and uh, yeah, the closure is like this and uh, yeah, it's okay, but again, now I made this 
And here I have my energy bar uh, some and some dry. dried root uh, vegetables and uh, a little other thing. So, um, and you say why make it like this? Well, I think it looks very nice and uh, it's actually not that easy to make a pouch like this. Uh, and you can do this. I found out that when I was trying to make it, but uh, finally I got it and uh, yeah, I think it looks really nice. So now I'm going to uh, um, eat a little bit of my uh, energy bar, so you can see what it is. This is dried root beets, I think it's called, and uh, yeah, and some dried meats that Cornelius is very interesting in. You may have one if you want to in. You want it? No. And uh, yeah, in here. I think it's the last portion of mm. my my little energy bar that I made in a video. I put a link to it, my video description. Something for you, Cornelius? No, honey, honey, uh, ray bread, um, nuts. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Cornelius. Have something to eat. Some water? That's good. No bad. Yeah. Not thirsty. This is the same. It's water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should don't want some. Yeah. Go out and uh, bury it. <laughs> Yeah, I think the chicken is is finished. I have to be careful not to get the I think it's called salmonella bacteria, so I have to be sure that it's cooked or fried uh, all the way through. And you see this one is actually looking very good. This one is still having so I think I'll eat the big one first and then put the other on one and then put the other one on again. And put this on again. It sure uh, smells delicious. Yeah. Let's see if it's cooked inside. Yeah, it looks great. And now, uh, Cornelius is always interested. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Hmm? It's a little bit hot, Cornelius. It's hot. Too hot for you, I think. No? Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm.
Gebiet. Hm. <laughs> so now this one is finished. Put it here. And then it's time for putting all my coffee. Is it delicious, Cornelius? Yeah. Let's see. All the rest here. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, now thinking about, maybe some of you doesn't know what the spring equinox is. So I'll explain that very short. Uh, it's the point of the year where the sun is up as much as it's down. So it's dark half time of the day and light half time of the day. And it's today, the 20th of March here in Denmark, uh, we have this um, spring equinox. We call it Forårsjevndøgn, and forår betyder uh, spring or four year uh, and jevndøgn um, is jevn means that it's even and it's a day so it's spring even day and night so um, and I looked it up in uh, Old Norse and uh, yeah it's very difficult to pronounce but uh, it's var uh, that's spring and we also in Denmark uh, call something var it's also spring but var and that is called jafnadreka I write it down here and it's, um, uh, it's, it's meaning the, the equinox, the Jondøgn, the day that uh, the sun is up uh, as much as it's down. So half the day the sun is up and it's light and half the day it's dark. And here in the northern part of Europe and northern part of the hemisphere, uh, it's getting lighter and lighter every day. And if you travel to the northern part of uh, Norway, I've been there in um, in, in Lofoten and in North Cap, uh, there will be uh, daylight. The sun will be up uh, all day uh, during the summer. Uh, there will be no darkness, uh, and you can see the sun uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, and then at winter, uh, there sometimes you can't see the sun. The sun is just not coming over the horizon, so it's completely dark uh, for several days or weeks during the midwinter. So. I hope you find this little uh, info interesting and uh, yeah, I celebrate with a little sun cross. It's a good tradition and I'll make that uh, on this four uh, occasion a year. Now it's uh, spring equinox to summer, it will be uh, solstice and uh, the autumn, autumn equinox and uh, the winter solstice. Uh, and I made a video with the winter solstice out from uh, Kimberkam where I was together with Tristan and we made a, a celebration of the uh, turning of the sun. So yeah, now it's time for coffee and uh, yeah, a little pipe of tobacco and uh, then I think I'm finished and uh, just want to sit here and enjoy. Again, I want to make this uh, video shorter than uh, the long ones, so approximately about 30 minutes. Uh, if it's 35 or, uh, 
or 27, doesn't matter, uh, just not too long. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Where is my cup? Here it is. And, uh, yeah. Bring the coffee over. Oh, yeah. And a little stick. Then we're good to go. Yeah, folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video uh, from the Black Forest with Cornelius and me and uh, some delicious food. He was really glad for the, for the chicken. He loved it almost as much as bacon. Yeah. Now the sun is coming and uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful day out here and I'm glad you joined me again. So. Thank you again for watching Kima Bushcraft. We really appreciate that. And then we hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye and take care.